role of zoos has changed considerably since the last 40 years. As we can see here behind us, we have black and white rough lemurs. Back then, 40 years ago, there was probably 100,000 of them in the wild. Now, there are less than 400. These animals are all captive bred. That means they've all been bred in captivity. And the idea is to, to maintain healthy populations in zoos and wildlife parks so that it can be used for reintroduction. This species is critically endangered. It's expected to go extinct in the next 10 to 15 years at its current decline. And without zoos, this species would be extinct altogether. And FOTA has been involved in, with other species like this. For instance, the European bison went extinct in the wild in the, in the early 1920s. In 1999, FOTA Wildlife Park got our first European bison. And so we started off with Boris, uh, Helga and Erica, three bison, one male, two females. Uh, we started breeding in 1999. Since then, we've bred over 54 animals. Uh, many of them have gone on to other zoos and others then have gone back into conservation and reintroduction programs in the wild. Now there's over 20 countries involved in reintroduction programs at various different stages from just a few animals in places to a couple of thousand animals in Poland. And so while these animals were extinct in the wild, at one stage they went from extinct to vulnerable and now with about seven and a half thousand animals in the wild, they're up to near threatened. That doesn't mean the species is saved. We still have a huge amount of work to do. These wild populations are still very fragile. Any amount of disease or another war, for instance, could absolutely wipe out these animals if conservation programs don't keep up um, and we don't continue to monitor and invest and to protect these animals. Other species that we've been involved with in, at a national or native level are natterjack toads, corncrakes. We've started a, a, a captive breeding program which we hope to be able to extend into reintroducing concretes back into the wild. This is how the role of zoos has changed. For the Wild of Park is involved with the Nanajack Toad reintroduction programme. It is the rarest amphibian in Ireland. In the last five or six years, we've sent back nearly 6,000 toadlets back to the wild. The scientific world, the National Parks and Wildlife Service and biologists go out to the wild. They bring some eggs and tadpoles to ourselves here in For the Wild of Park and to Dingle Aquarium, where over the course of Eight to 12 weeks, we rear them up and they go back into the wild. Fulton Wildlife Park's Education Department offers both schools and colleges an opportunity to avail of a wide variety of modules and engaging workshops focused on themes such as ecology, wildlife management, biodiversity conservation, among others. By bringing your students to Fulton Wildlife Park, you're providing them with an opportunity to see conservation at work in one of the world's most progressive zoological institutions. By visiting Fulton Wildlife Park, you are helping us to conserve some of the world's most critically endangered species. We hope to see you here shortly.